grew up in a Christian home. My parents were deacons at church, they were ministers. And I grew up as one of those kids in the spotlight. So everyone knew me and I hated it. I hated it with a passion. Throughout high school, I went through like a lot of issues where like I got physically abused, I got sexually abused growing up. All these different kind of things happened where I just was, I wasn't mad at God, but I was mad at myself because I felt like I failed myself. A lot of times I was sick and laying in bed, like throwing up and like trying and like my gums were bleeding, all kinds of crazy stuff were happening. And I was trying to like tell my professors like what's going on, but at the same time, like I didn't want my friends to see that I was like broken and hurting. And those times like where it was just kind of like me and God and I was just kind of like, God, I don't know what to do. Like I'm fed up with my body, I'm frustrated with my grades, I'm frustrated with a lot of things. I, I remember one day where I just laid on the floor and I just started like bawling my eyes out and I was like, I just started screaming and I was like, Jesus, I need you. I need you to be real right now. I need your presence now. I need you to, I need you to show up. I need you to <laughs> show that you're real to me again because right now I can't do it. I can't hold on to this any longer. I can't deal with all these issues and like just be able to walk around fine. This past um, summer I had to have another exam where like they checked for colon cancer because I kept having symptoms again and it's like even those times where you feel like you're scared like you have to like press into God even more you have to like be so focused on God where like nothing else matters like he brings the right people that are supposed to be in your life to encourage you and uplift you but at the same time like you don't receive what you need from people you receive what you need from him and you have to you have to know from a sh like beyond shout out that God is real and you have to know that like God is good no matter what happens now I'm in a place where it's like I look back and I see the faithfulness of God like I graduated with college um, not with the best GPA but I graduated with two degrees and now I'm almost attending graduate school for nursing in the fall and then it's like it's a blessing where it's like I still have close friends that encourage me and uplift me and so I still grow with me, um, but I'm just so thankful because like I'm not where I was used to be. Like I I used to like be so like depressed because I was so frustrated with my body, and so like physically body, like um, not like my actual weight, but like it's just how everything functioned. And like I had my bad days. Like I had a flare up a couple days ago, but at the same time, like I press into God no matter what. We all need God for something. We all depend on Him for something. We all serve Him for some for a certain reason. And for me, it was like I literally needed God to give me life each day.